Hello everyone, this is Chris Martel, and in this tutorial I'm going to illustrate how to make a glitch text effect in KLWP. Okay, first you're gonna need to download this font from the link in the description. Once I found this font, I knew it was perfect for this tutorial. It's totally free for personal and commercial use according to the license found in the zip file. Well, I found another one I really liked named Dr. Glitch, but it's only for personal use. And I came across a few more that could work for this effect. I'll show you at the end of the video. In case you don't know, you need to save or move your .otf or .ttf font files to this directory in your device. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna work in landscape mode and change the background to black to visualize it better. First, I recommend you to do your globals before you start. In this case, let's make four globals, three colors, one font, and one text. And make sure the colors have some transparency. I'm gonna use some preset colors that work well for this tutorial. For the first color, let's call it P for pink and choose a shade of pinkish red. For the second one, call it B for blue and choose a bluish color. And for the third one, just call it W for white. Make a font global and choose the font you downloaded earlier. Make a text global. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the word glitch. Okay. Now that the globals are set, let's start by adding an overlap group, name it Glitch, and center it. Inside of it, Create a morphing text and name it W. Go to text and choose the global text. Go to font and choose the global font. Make it a bit larger, 140 in this case. We're gonna need some space between letters, so go to spacing and increase it to 5.
and skew it a bit, 10 in this case. Go to paint color and choose the global called W. Now copy that module and call it P. Keep everything mostly the same, just change the color global P. Go to position and move it to the right, 20 in this case. Go back and drag it up in the list. Now copy module W again and call it B. Keep everything mostly the same. Just change the color global B, go to position and move it to the left, 20 in this case. Go back and drag it up in the list. Now copy the module W and call it clear. On this module, just go to paint and change the filter to clear. This will get rid of that ghost pink and blue color that's bleeding through. Go back and drag it up one place in the list. Now to finish it up, let's add a subtle shine. Copy the module P and call it PSH. Make the color completely transparent. Add a shadow of 100. Direction and distance to zero and pick the global color P. Go to position and add some padding with the following values. Go back and drag it all the way to the top of the list. Do the same for the B module But in the shadow color, pick the color global B and use these values for the position. Go back and drag it all the way to the top of the list to complete the effect. And there you have it. This effect looks good if you want to do a simple cyberpunky style setup. And here are a few more fonts that could also work with this effect. Okay, that's it. 
I believe this tutorial covers the main idea, but let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it or any other design topics. I'm going to keep making more design tutorials for KLWP, among other things. Please like and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful. That's all for today. Thanks for watching y hasta la próxima.